Hello, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome to the channel of the Loquacious One. How is everybody doing? I hope you are doing fine. I am glad that you tuned into my channel. And as you know, I'm living in temporary housing, so I am trying to entertain for the holidays while maintaining a budget. So I am using affordable alternatives. And uh, hopefully these are places that you also have available to you in case you're interested or you pick up an ideal or two or you can suggest something to me also. Now, uh, on an everyday basis, people will be dropping in. So I got a um, number of disposable products. So I always sell something on hand because my space is kind of limited. And I didn't bring a lot of stuff with me. So I'm going to show you what I use to entertain on an everyday basis. Okay, round and um, square serving dishes and crystal are an alternative. I'm limited on space and money. So what I decide to use is from the Dollar Tree, I am using this oblong shaped bowl that mimics cut crystal it's not crystal but when it's filled with food it's piping hot and or it's chilling and it's beautifully decorated who knows the difference and who care this takes up less counter space and i can uh put them straight across and don't have to worry about jamming food together and i simply refill as needed so that's the alternative i purchased about eight of those so that should last me the whole season i purchased this next little cup from the dollar spot at target and i simply use this to keep my straws in it's attractive i know ikea also sells something similar to that if you're interested and i purchased this from the photo section or either they have it in the bridal section of dollar tree i use this as a table marker i use it as a place card holder i use it as a table marker whatever you need it for you can i simply change the background and decorate it accordingly and that is a decent deal for a dollar as far as napkins, I get these Vanity Fair Everyday Napkins. It's $36 for a dollar. They're white. They're a nice size. So that is what I use. They're good quality, and I like them. And from Dollar Tree, I simply purchased these luncheon napkins. They are a zebra pattern simply because it was fun. They're black and white. If I have something more formal, I got this. Their mainstays is two napkins in each pack. The 18-inch squares is cotton. They're not good as the hand-sewn ones, but they do quite well, and they are, uh, you know, a fabric. So these were, I believe, two dollars and something. Or, but anyway, they're like two bucks and some change at most. I can't recall, but those I got from Walmart. If you want to really find some nice ones, you can also check Burlington, but they cost a little bit more because they are a little bit better quality, but still cheaper than finding them at your regular department stores. And I purchased a lot of these silver plastic napkin rings because they're cute. You can bling them up. In another video, I showed how I bling them up with gems or what have you, whatever suits your mood or your decor. And I purchased this uh, the silver plastic utensils with black handles. And I got packages of those. And those are really cute. And the thinking and thought process behind that is that I have white dishes. So it doesn't matter what the occasion. I could change the floral. I could change the tablescape. And this black will go with the white. Or I could use my silver plastic. And this is just, again, I wouldn't use plastic for a formal dinnerware, this is just where people drop in and you just want to eat something, but you want to give a decent present presentation. That's it, and that is all. Okay, so yes, I know you don't use plastic with formal. Now, for my little candy bar, I'm limited on space. So on my little council table in the foyer, I am using these little mini, again, they mimic uh, cut crystal plastic containers and I got these from the Dollar Tree at a dollar piece and they're covered which is what I like 
And this is what I keep my um, candies in for the holiday. So I have four of them because generally I have four different types of candy out. And um, I, if they want to use um, want some loose candy or if I have loose candy, I purchase these little, um, it's a pack of four plastic scoops. And I got a couple of packages that will last me. And if I have a larger jar, doing a sometimes I use a larger container. It may not exactly be a candy jar, but it's what I'm using it for the purpose. I need a larger scoop. This is a two um, different size of plastic scoop, again for a dollar. And as menu boards, if it's required. I simply use a silver photo frame. This has a beaded edge, which makes it look uh, more expensive than it really is. It doesn't look cheap. And I simply spray paint the paper um, with chalkboard paint. And I hold it uh, together with these little easels that you also find in the photo section and you simply sit it like that isn't that nice and you can decorate it however you want to okay folks that's it that's all on my uh, little entertainment hall how I always am prepared for company and I'm always willing to do a presentation even if it is not the grand you know uh, event that it could be. I do like you to feel welcome. I do appreciate my company and I want to show them some love. And oh, I almost forgot. I found these placemats and they are black and they're shot with silver thread. Isn't that gorgeous? And against the white plate, it looks so nice. I'm telling you. Again, oh, oops, I dropped something. Sorry about that. Yeah, folks, so check out the Dollar Tree, especially now that the holiday season is upon us. They have some great things that you could use um, that will suit your catering and party needs. And it doesn't cost a whole lot, and it doesn't break the bank. You're only living it by your imagination. So with that being said, this is Loquacious One. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, thumbs up this video, and as always, love you. Mwah.